Hi, hey YouTube. Today is Wednesday, the 9th of January, 2019. Uh, it's about 11.25 or so in the morning. And I'm showing you this sign here because I want to slowly reveal to you, first of all, that right there. So what we're doing is we are taking a tour of what's known as the Painted Churches. And let me show you our first stop. Whoa. This is our first stop. And I think with that, I think you get the whole steeple and everything in, at least I hope. Looks like it. All right. So what we can do is we're supposed to actually be able to tour the inside of these things and video them and everything. First, before we go in, I want to show you this, just a little bit of the side here. See the windows, see those vein things up there. That's right, yeah, right there. Nice windows there. So let's head up here. And let's see what this Dubina Historic District built in 1911. Listed in the National Historic Places there you can see. Here's the door, let's check it out. Yeah, and this one, yeah, this is the one I heard. You can see this is actually padlocked, so we can't get any further than this. Uh, if you take a paid tour through uh, Schulenburg, then you can't go all the way through here. But this is why on the inside, you can see why they call these the painted churches. It's not the outside of them, but it's the inside that they make quite fancy. If I get a little bit low... There you go, you can see some. Let's just start over here. So you're seeing things right now that even I'm not seeing. Well, you can turn it upside down to where you can get the ceiling better too. Slowly pan. Go that way. Right, this gets it pretty good, I think. But hopefully here, if I just go low and go like that, you can see there's actually stars and stuff painted. They're all the way in the back there too. Little golden looking stars. But this is the first painted church. Now, the, we're going to be visiting three others. There's four in total. And uh, I'm hoping to fly around all of them as well. But the rest of them I know are open. We can actually go into them and see them. But here's, here's the foyer. Let me just show you this side. It's a little, little visitor thing there. Postcards are a dollar each, so you can, you can buy those and take those and, and put the money right there. Over here, here's a here's something about it. Little pamphlet. We'll take that. And then just this, and just this for various war victims, and that. So here's the door from the inside. Let's take a look up at that. Oh, and look, we got a little chandelier above our heads. All right, let's head back out and just look around a little bit more. See right here, they got a great big cross. That says 1912 down there. Show you that. All right, then looking from this left side, you know, facing the front. You can see it looks like the other side with the nice windows and stuff. Here's the steeple in the shade looking all the way up. And then that's some of the trees out there that she was just talking about. And then... You can see they got some old buildings back here. I'm guessing, I don't know, I'm just guessing that they're maybe used today like a community type building or something, you know, for people to live around here. And here's something for you. If you look straight ahead, you see the white over there, and you see the, the white over there to the left. The one on the left says men, that one says women. So the bathroom, apparently is old outhouses out here. <laughs> And then they actually do have a big cemetery over there. More nice trees you can see, more parked right here. But now I'm going to go ahead and try to fly around this and be shown that video. So stick around with me.
Okay, guys, from that first church I just showed you, I've come down the road six-tenths of a mile from there. There's a sign that tells you about this, and this is a bridge. This is called the Piano Bridge. As I understand, this is Piano Bridge Road, but it's the, the bridge is named that because it's made of something called uh, piano trusses. Now, I don't know exactly what that is, but you can see the bridge here. Up there, I don't know if you can see it or not, but that sign up there says 1885 King Iron Bridge Company, Cleveland, Ohio. So that's where this thing came from. And uh, if we can maybe get a look, that uh, I guess because these cables and stuff, maybe that that's why it's called a piano truss. I don't know, but that's where the name comes from, anyway. So I read online, anyhow. But you can see, I'm walking across the bridge. You can't drive across this. You saw that sign that said uh, 16,000 pound weight limit. So I'm walking this way because of the sun. You can see we're parked right down there. I didn't want to blind you. I wanted to give you a good shot of that bridge. Here's the sign on the other side. So you can see that. And uh, at the risk of blinding you from the sun, this is this side, and I'll get you these little concrete barriers right there. And that's the bridge. So, hopefully you've enjoyed that one.